Welcome to the Seafish Gear Database. The database contains information on a wide range of fishing gears used in commercial fisheries in the UK and EU, including the selectivity and discard reduction options that can be used with them. It also gives access to a vast range of the scientific trials and technical reports that have been undertaken on each of the fishing gears and selectivity options. The homepage provides an overview. It is advised that you read through this before using the database for the first time. To search the database, enter a query in the main search box. This can be anything associated with commercial fishing gear or selectivity. There are two other search boxes on the home page, one in the menu bar and the other in the top right of the page. These work in the same way and will take you to the same pages as the main search facility. If required, the search can be refined by using the two drop-down menus. The All Records drop-down menu provides options to search for fishing gears or selective devices only, or both. The All Species drop-down menu provides options to search for gears and selective devices that are relevant to a particular species. If selected, the search will bring up all gears used to target that species or where that species may be a common bycatch. It will also bring up selectivity devices that are known to be effective at releasing or retaining that species. Once the selection is made, click Search Now. The search results are listed below and you may need to scroll down to see them all. Gears have a white background and selective devices have a blue background. Each entry provides an illustration and a brief description. When you find the gear or selective device that you want to view, click on the View box. A new page opens dedicated to the gear you selected. There is a brief description with an option to read more. This takes you further down the page to a full description of the gear under Other Information. At the top of the page is an illustration of the gear and a list of which classifications it falls under. Where relevant, there are also links to similar gears as well as a list of the main target species for this gear. The bycatch section contains information on possible bycatch and lists any selective devices that may be relevant for use with this gear. Clicking on any of selective devices takes you directly to the page containing detailed information on this device. The Environmental Impact section provides some brief comments on the environmental impacts of the gear. This information aligns with the Environmental Impact Scoring methodology in the Seafish Risk Assessment for Sourcing Seafood tool. Once in the Environmental Reports section, there is more information further down the page, including reports which can be downloaded as PDFs, a link to any videos of the gear, and other relevant photos or documents. We'll now look at one of the Selective Device entries. If you want to view a list of all selective devices, use the drop-down filter and choose Selective Devices, and all of them will be listed. You can then scroll to find the required device. To search for something specific, enter the name of the selective device in the search box. Find the selective device you're looking for and click View. The pages for the selective devices are similar to that for the gears. There is a brief description and the option to read more which will take you to additional information further down the page. At the top there is an illustration of the device. This is just one example for most selective devices there will be many different versions but all with the same principle. The selection type shows whether the fish are selected to be released before actual capture or whether they are caught and then released. The similar devices list shows other selective devices that work in the same way. Click on the links to go to those pages. The list of relevant fishing gear shows which gears this device may be used with. Click on any of these links to go to information on that gear. These boxes provide information on how effective the device is at releasing certain species and retaining certain species. 
The side selectivity box provides some further comments on the selectivity characteristics of the device, particularly in relation to the size and shape of the species. Seafish will continue to update the database as more information becomes available. If you have any questions or comments on the Seafish Gear database, please get in touch via the Contact Us page.